Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, in this video I would like to go through and talk about uh, training aids. Um, now that we've probably all got a little bit of time in our hands um, and are trying to come up with um, potentially new and innovative ways um, to train cadets, it might be a good time to refresh um, and kind of revise what we've got. Um, just got on a back pocket for those kind of for those for those rainy days um, and how to make things a little bit more interesting. So without further ado, I shall crack on. So, what's in my stationery box? So, uh, we'll either be inside or outside. Um, we may have a dry wipe board, um, or we may have a chalk board. Um, for that, we're going to need something to write on. We rarely get given the provisions. So, carry about a box of chalk with you. Um, useful if you're inside and you've got a chalk board to write on. But also, if you think about it outside, really we can use this to write or draw or sketch on anything. This could be on concrete, on tarmac, um, on the... Um, you know, on the on the canvas of the the back of a you know of a of a vehicle, um, provided it washes off, um, or stretch out a, a single colour, one of the old green ponchos, um, or a bit of a tarp, um, stretch it out, get a top between a couple of trees, and then all of a sudden you've got somewhere, um, you've kind of got a chalkboard that you can you can sketch things, you can you can do maps, um, or you could do other things um, with the chalk. And also remember, chalk in a model kit, uh, shaving off a bit of the bit of the chalk to give you some shading. Um, on your model, whether for bodies of water, tracks, um, open areas, just shaving off a bit of chalk, just adds that extra little bit of colour. Um, so chalk, really useful. Um, anyone who's worth their weight in gold will always carry about a pack of dry wipe pens. Um, you could either go chisel point or you could go bullet tip. Um, but just remember, it really has to be thick enough that if you've got a class of you know, 12, 20 people in front of you, um, that you know they can see without too much um, without too much hassle, and obviously you know try try and go for the usual selection of colours um, as well, just just to make things a little bit um, a little bit interesting. You can also then get some um, smaller sort of Lumi colour pens, um, so either non permanent or permanent, and uh, not necessarily for writing if you're giving a. Um, if you're giving a lesson, but actually if you've got laminated training aids, for example a take a range card, instead of giving out every student you know, three or four um, A4 bits of paper with a range card on it that will just disintegrate and poke pens through in the rain, uh, actually if you laminate them um, and print them on a bit of card, uh, you know, give them all a permanent pen um, and then you can, they can write them out, they can change things, um, they can, then at the end of the lesson you can wipe it clean um, and you can recycle and they're, they're much more useful outside. Um, and that's that's hopefully what you're going to be doing doing the bulk of your range your range card lessons, um, for example. So permanent um, or non permanent small pens. I said about wiping things clean, whether that's boards or laminated sheets, a um, little bit of makeup remover, a little bit of nail varnish remover, some sort of cotton or cloth, just some sort of solvent that will help you wipe things. Uh, there's nothing worse than you you know you've used a whiteboard all day, um, and it, it ends up you know being a darker shade of, of blue than the pen you're trying to write with it. Um, so make sure you've got something to, to clean those training materials, um, should you have them. And now on to the, to the novel items, which I think really um, really make a massive difference. First of, all, first of all is Velcro. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to use Velcro on a whiteboard, but something like my converted figure 11, um, I will use Velcro. So I've got a Velcro matrix um, on the target there, and then the back of my training aids, I'm going to put the corresponding... Um, Velcro tab, so I can just, you may have seen in some of the videos I've done already, um, I can just, with the various headings that I want, I can just stick them very quickly up onto the board and peel them off afterwards. Um, and things like that's great for uh, for student participation as well. Um, you know, you ask them a question and you show them a, um, you know, a heading and then they can go, they can grab it and they can run up and they can they can potentially put it in the right order um, or right sequence up on the board. Now they come in, in sort of sticky dot, Velcro sticky dot form, um, or uh, strip form. So I've got a big big strip down the centre and then either side of that I've got some of the Velcro sticky dots just to make sure I've kind of covered the surface without taking away um, the content. You know, I still want it to look kind of, you know, a little bit a little bit worry and I want to, um, I want to make sure everybody knows, um, you know, it, it fits into the theme of uh, sort of the field craft and the military skills that we're, we're learning in the field. Um, so that's Velcro, um, big fan of. The other one then, which you may not have come across, is um, magnetic tape. It'll either come in a roll, um, like this, self-adhesive, one side sticks to the back of your training aids, um, the front side is, is magnetic. It can be a little bit weak at times, but still, um, it's good for holding on to um, whiteboards, 
um, or even you know even the side of vehicles. If you've you know if you've got a van and you've nothing else to use, you can use your you can use your magnetic training aids to go and, and suddenly convert the side of the um, the side of the panel van into a in, into sort of a, a whiteboard. Um, so either comes in, in tape form. Or I was able to get A4 magnetic sheets, a little bit heavier duty, a little bit stronger on the magnet. Um, you know, you can get them on online marketplaces, um, A4, self-adhesive sheets. You can cut it to whatever size you want, stick it in the back of your training aids, um, and then you, you can just, just um, stick it to your boards or anything, anything with a, with a light steel covering on it. Sadly, the targets are aluminium, so our magnets won't work in the target. So Velcro goes in the target, magnet goes in my whiteboard. So that's my kind of in the fields training pack. How do I use some of this stuff? So I'll start with the magnets. First of all, I have a magnetic model kit. So you may think this is slightly strange. Models should be built in a forest, built in the ground with sticks and stones. But actually, there is a there is a huge training value in doing a sketch map. Um, it could be you know you know it could be harbour areas or ambush drills. Doing a sketch map on a whiteboard. And then instead of having to, to write everything up on the board, as you're going through the lesson, you can start adding in um, your markers, adding in your RVs, where the section commander, the IC, two ICs is going to be, etc. Um, so, you know, just good things, you know, model general, you know, north markers, um, and then things like, as I say, you know, RVs. And it's just really, really easy to start sticking things up on the board. And put in some blanks. So if you've got blanks, um, you can just quickly write on them. If so, you know, if you don't have something in your in your pack, write on it, and then you can stick it up on the board um, as well. Really quick, really really easy um, to go, and, and will we'll hopefully enhance your lessons. And, and a little whiteboard like that. Um, I think I just got it from a from a, a high street DIY shop. A um, little whiteboard like that costs you know ten pounds, um, and I pretty much carry it everywhere with me. You can get larger sizes, but they then they then become a little bit cumbersome. So just something like that for some of those. Um, some of those more in-depth um, demonstrations. Um, moving on to some conventional training aids. You've all probably seen the Silva training compass. Um, if not, it's an excellent piece of kit. Um, plastic compass, not magnetic, um, and you can you can go about and you can you can demonstrate parts of the compass and actually how to use a compass, taking grid bearings, how to read off um, the various things. You've even got a roamer down the side um, as well. This is fine, but you've got to use your hands, you've got to try and hold it. But actually, a couple of bits of magnetic tape on the, on the back of it, and then it will just stick up on the side of my whiteboard. Um, I can even project an Ordnance Survey map um, onto the whiteboard. So stick the compass up, and I can use the grid, and I can use points on that map that I've projected onto the board um, as well. Super quick and super easy um, to use. And then for cleaning your points off the board, just give them a quick wipe. And everything falls off. So the only other uh, magnetic training aid that I'll, I'll demonstrate in this lesson um, is a range card. So printed and laminated a simple range card, a couple of bits of magnetic tape on the back and I can stick it onto my board. Because it's laminated I can then use my dry wipe pens, I could maybe draw some lines, draw an axis in, draw half left, half right, whatever. Um, but actually with a little bit more imagination uh, and taking some of the training resources on the Ordnance Survey website, I was able to print off um, some of the map symbols for a 1 in 25,000 map. So, you know, things like castles, things like forests, um, as well as, you know, windmills and, and masts and so on. So print off some of these features, cut them out, laminate them, put a bit of magnet on the back. And because I'm using it on a whiteboard, um, I can then start applying these map symbols to my range card, really just to try and try and enhance the lesson um, and make it a little bit more um, interesting. So you know, I can I can put forests, I can put a, a castle in Araxis, you know, little windmill, and then print off some some range tags as well. So you can start you can start filling out the ranges um, as you need. And um, you know, you can print out a few of these, um, get students to have them, and and. You know, give them out, out little whiteboards or use the main whiteboard, um, and it, it suddenly makes the lesson really interactive. Um, so those are some examples of how to use magnets and whiteboards um, to make training aids a little bit more interactive. So moving on to the big Velcro bulb here. First example I'll use will be just a nice, simple example. 
Uh, and you may have seen it in my fire control orders lesson. And doing things, print out your simple lesson heading, Velcro dots in the back, and then as you need them, you can stick them up onto the board. I can put up some larger mnemonics, different color, sticky dots, place it up, and then going out asking questions in a, in a revision or knowledge of assimilation phase, you know, give them out to the students, call out the answer, they come up to the table, they pick up one, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, they can go and they can stick it onto your board. Really interactive. Um, Everything's, everything's printed and card, everything's laminated, Velcro, really robust, um, you know, you, you should be able to get years of use out of these. Um, so, you know, a little bit of work and you can get years um, of using these things. Um, and finally then for the Velcro training aids is a little bit of a skill at arms one. So, skill at arms, holding, aiming, prone position, all that good stuff, four point relationship, um, and, that, and that's you know you end up giving the lesson and you end up holding lots of things and, and they keep slipping about and it's, it's you know it can sometimes be quite difficult but with a little bit of velcro we can we can go through that four point relationship of eye aperture sight and the target um, much more easily so I have a nice figure 11 target white patch in the middle on the back of it I've got two magnetic strips so I can use it in the whiteboard but I've also got velcro dots so I can stick it to my target as well and um, you know and if, you, if you're familiar with that relationship you know we put down the target we then go we look at the foresight kind of comes next where do we put you know tip of the foresight put a couple of different markers on the target so you know that there's more than just one option um, and then you know get students to place yeah you know got you know, got the got the tip of the foresight blade on the target come down to your rear side aperture see again dots front and back making sure it corresponding for whatever is going to stick either side to it um, and then we can you know we can put down the next piece and then you know coming down to the eye is the first and we can start to build up and layer that um, and it's just much easier than having having to try and hold things and, and do it um, do it freehand um, so yeah you know velcro or as I say you know stick some magnetic strips on it and it suddenly becomes really versatile so that's kind of my use of of magnet magnets and velcro sticky dots and velcro for training aids you know really beneficial it's, it's these things have you know these these things will hopefully uh, make your life a lot easier because remember a training aid is not only to enhance the lesson of the students but it's also and nobody will tell you this it's also so that you don't forget things um, you know you've got your training aids printed out before the lesson you've laid them out in the right order um, you know that that's a good way it stops you looking at notes um, you know, you, you know, if, if you're if you haven't given this lesson very often, um, and it's just a great way. Yeah, what comes next? Pick it up. You know, in the right order. Um, you know, another sneaky thing is the back of the whiteboard is ultra magnetic, so I can have all my markers laid out around the back of the board. So, front facing the students, I know what's coming next. Pick it up, and I can lay it down on the board um, if I need. Do the same with it with the with the target as well. You know, big lump of velcro on the back, and, and put everything before you. You display it to the front. Have it all laid out at the back. Um, it'll make your life so much easier, and it'll make you look um, really quite slick, hopefully. And finally, moving on to just some other training aids um, that you can start thinking about. Um, these are printed straight off from the Ordnance Survey Education site, um, and they are the map symbol flashcards. They have a pack for one in twenty-five thousand. They also have a pack for one in fifty thousand. Um, print off the various map symbols and then you can kind of have a have a bit of a jumble up game you can have a you know what's this you can print them larger than this you can print them smaller than this if you wanted you could even put a bit of um, put a bit of magnetic tape on the back of them and you could start sticking them um, sticking them on your whiteboard or even velcro um, and put them in your target if you want but, but typically I tend to keep kind of um, the more sort of the, the cleaner skills on a whiteboard and then do the kind of dirty field craft stuff you know put your six section battle drills headings down do your fire control orders um, using the target um, using Bob here um, so these are really useful and same again you know little little kind of instructor tips write what it is in the back of it so when you hold it up to the class right can anyone tell me what this symbol is on a um, one and what's this one on 50,000 map yeah it's a radio or TV mast because you've written up in the back um, keeps things really easy. So you may want to have one set with them written in the back for you and then another plain set to give them out to your students. So that's a little bit of map reading. And then finally moving on, and I promise this is the last, is a little bit of first aid. So 
first aid, lots of traditional training aids out there. Um, you know, it, it, it can be a really good hands-on um, skill to learn. But some of the things, some of those, um, the more signs and symptoms um, are a little bit harder to get um, to make interactive. Um, and they're also, for you as an instructor, quite hard to remember um, all of the signs and symptoms at once. So, print out, write them all down. There are a lot of these are common um, to a number of different ones on the notes. So sweating could be diabetes or poisons. Write them out, laminate them. Tip again, you could use Velcro, you could use uh, magnetic tape, so you can you can you can kind of flip them up onto the whiteboard. Um, but then actually here you can use the you know you can use the you can you can show a symptom, um, you know, and have it put it under a heading, right? You know, sweating. Sweating can be a symptom of um, you know what medical condition? You know, oh you know diabetes, excellent, yeah, and you can. Um, you can stick it over there. So having just a pack of these um, is really, really useful. You may or may not want to put, um, you know, put what they are. That's, as I say, just a little, little sort of instructor note to keep me right, um, especially when you're under the under the pressure of having, um, you know, having a dozen students looking at you. Um, you don't want to try and get things wrong, or you can just write, you know, write things in the back um, as well. So printer, laminator, bit of card, coloured card. Um, and suddenly the world is your oyster um, and your lessons will hopefully be more um, engaging, more, th um, more interactive with the students as well as just keeping yourself, you know, all of this is to make our lives much easier um, as opposed to struggling, you know, 10 minutes notice to suddenly go and deliver a fire control orders lesson. If you know in your folder you've got all the headings for fire control orders listed out um, then suddenly you've got, you know, you've got your activity sorted, um, you've got on yourself what sequence, um, and it, it keeps you right as well. So, yeah, really useful. Um, a lot of these things I will, if I haven't already done so, I will upload to the resources section um, of the cadetforce.training website um, to keep everything there. As I say, you know, we're all in this together, um, you know, I'm happy to share all these training aids. Um, just, yeah, print them out, laminate them. Um, and yeah, hopefully it will make your life a lot easier. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah, take care.